I'm Tom with Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, DIY-HA.com, and this video shares how to track your electrical usage with Bidgely. So a lot of utilities now are providing their customers with what they call smart meters. And basically these are electrical meters which are constantly reading your electrical usage and sending it to the utility. And a lot of these utilities allow you to sign into some kind of web interface and see your daily electrical use. But what if you want to monitor your usage minute to minute instead of every day? That's where Bidgely comes in. So this is the Rainforest Eagle. It's a little hub that Bidgely provides. And basically this has a little Zigbee radio in it and then it plugs in to your router. So it's connected to your home network. And essentially it's acting as a go-between from that smart meter to Bidgely servers. It's pulling in the data on your minute to minute electrical usage from the meter and then it's sending it back out over the internet to Bidgely. So basically you just have this and you plug it in. You can get this on Amazon for about a hundred bucks. Um, you can see it's connected here on my desk to the meter. And that, what that allows me to do, I can then sign on to the Bidgely website here. And this is the dashboard I then get to monitor my uh, up to the minute usage. So you can see for the last 24 hours, how much I've spent on electric uh, for each of the hour periods there. You can see my current usage, and this updates about once per minute. Now I can go up here and you can see it's in dollars. I can also switch that and see my usage by kilowatt hours. So you can see the different periods of, day when I'm, of the day when I'm using more or less electricity. And down here I can see my usage rate. So it's 13 cents a kilowatt hour right now but Bidgely actually knows from my utility that I'm on a tiered plan, so the, the electricity becomes more expensive during certain hours of the day. And then over here on the left is Bidgely's kind of secret sauce. This is what's called disambiguation. And it's basically a way that they are able to figure out, uh, without having to monitor individual appliances, which appliances are accounting for your electrical use. So you can see in the last 24 hours how much I've spent on refrigeration, always on. It also monitors things like pool pumps um, and other kinds of things that would be using a lot of electricity. And I can look at this for not only the day but also for a full billing cycle. So you can see there's only a couple of days in this month so far. But I can also come down here and see how I compare to other houses. So you put in some details about where you live and uh, the size of your house and it shows you how you compare to your neighbors. So I'm doing pretty well there. You also get a cost projection for your next electric bill, which is sort of accurate, although not, not terribly accurate. You can see I can get historical data here, so I can go back to the previous billing period and see how I did. And one other thing up here is the data quality indicator. And basically, that's going to tell me um, how well Bidgely was able to track my usage. And here I can also add in another feature, I can look at weather. So you can see for the last 24 hours what the temperature outside in my neighborhood was like and how that corresponds to electrical usage. And this was done in January, so not a huge correspondence, but in the summer that becomes really important when you're using air conditioning. And down here, Bidgely tries to provide these personalized insights, so they're kind of recommendations. You can see it's not super accurate. It's telling me to turn down my air conditioning. Again, it's January, so there's no air conditioning being used. And this is uh, what I was talking about, the data quality. So Bidgely um, is not always able to connect to the electric meter, and if it doesn't get full data um, for every period, it'll tell you with that data quality indicator. Another thing it's tracking here is gas usage. So it's not able to monitor that in real time, but it does pull in data from the utility to say how many therms of natural gas the house is used um, over a particular time period too. And you can see I can, I can go in here and do um, different time periods, different billing cycles. Now this is another feature that Bidgely is working on in sort of a beta. It's called Bidgely Detective. And basically it's like an alternative to using a kilowatt a meter or something else that would be monitoring your usage for a particular appliance. You can actually shut these appliances off and turn them back on using these measure buttons and Bidgely will track how much power that a particular appliance has been using. So really the, the huge advantage of Bidgely is that you're able to monitor your usage in real time. So you can actually monitor how much your lighting is using or a computer. You can make changes to your usage, put in new light bulbs, um, try switching something to a power saving mode and immediately see the impact of that. 
And since you have the historical data, you can also compare your performance over time. So you can add in new home automation features uh, like a smart thermostat or again, better lighting control and see how that affects your electrical usage. And over time, you can use Bidgely to really drill down onto the minute by minute usage and um, you know, lower your bill by making changes to your home automation system or just to your day-to-day -day habits.